His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the U.S. Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson, and accompanying delegation at Ghadibiya Palace. During the meeting, the Deputy King underlined the efforts of the United States to support regional safety and stability, as well as its concerted efforts to combat terrorism alongside its allies. His Royal Highness noted the strength of the historic ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the U.S., which have underpinned the development of a range of bilateral cooperation, particularly within the areas of military and defense collaboration. The Deputy King underscored the importance of continuing to build on existing bilateral cooperation in order to benefit both countries and the region. Education Minister and Higher Education Council Chairman Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi led the Bahraini delegation in the 16th Conference of the Ministers in Charge of Higher Education and Scientific Research in the Arab World, which was held at the headquarters of the Arab League General Secretariat in Cairo. The conference, which was themed Arab Higher Education, the World of Work and Production, a New Vision, discussed a document prepared by the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization, the Alexo, on linking the institutions of higher education to the labor market and achieving the sustainable goals development of 2030. The education minister noted the close relations between higher education and development and the importance of following up on the outcomes of economic and informational changes and their impact on education, noting the importance of linking the results to the labor market. He briefed the participants on the efforts of the Higher Education Council in Bahrain and the most important decisions and regulations it has issued, including the national strategy to develop higher education and scientific research in Bahrain, as well as developing advanced academic programs. He underscored the importance of the conference in supporting higher education in the Arab world. Dr. Naimi expressed thanks to Alexo for praising the Kingdom's report on the reality of higher education and its relation to the labor market and the measures taken in this regard. The GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani praised the military court ruling recently issued against the convicts implicated in the throttled assassination attempt targeting the BDF Commander in Chief. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Dr. Al Zayani asserted that the trial of the terrorist cell members, in addition to confessions and compelling evidence of planning, conspiracy, and contracts with foreign parties, including Iran, reflect the enormity of the cowardly terrorist act that the cells sought to carry out in a desperate attempt to destabilize the security and stability of Bahrain through committing criminal acts of chaos and violence. He also added the efforts of the security and intelligence agencies in tracking down the terrorist cell and revealing its heinous activities inside the kingdom and abroad, as well as monitoring its sources of funding and those behind it, who provide guidance, support and training to its members. He further noted the outstanding efforts exerted to throttle the cell's horrific plot aimed at targeting a prominent national figure who is characterized by his loyalty and sincerity to his country, the leadership and people. The Secretary-General expressed his full confidence that the Kingdom of Bahrain, with its wide leadership and loyal men, will continue to fight and challenge those who aim to undermine its security and stability and to intimidate the innocent citizens and residents.